In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make a domino run that follows a curved path using a method where the dominoes are not deformed by the curve modifier. The method uses duplication faces. Duplication faces or dupla faces is the capability to replicate an object on each face of a parent object. I'm going to illustrate that with an example. Add mesh monkey. Use the tip of the green arrow to move the monkey to the side. Press S to scale, 0.5 and enter. Go to the properties of the monkey and set its parent to be the cube. Go to the object properties of the cube, scroll down to the duplication panel and click the faces button. We get six duplicate monkeys, one for each face of the cube. I'm going to use this technique and apply a deforming modifier to the parent, but the duplicates will not be affected. Change the view from perspective to ortho. Change the view to the top view. In the outliner window, click on the eye icon to hide the cube. Add curve bezier. Zoom in with the mouse wheel. Go into edit mode. Select the first point. Use the tip of the red arrow to move that to the left. Select the handle. Use the tip of the green arrow to move the handle up and across. Select the second point. Use the tip of the red arrow to move that to the right. Select the handle. Use the tip of the green arrow to move that down and the red arrow to move it across. Zoom back with the mouse wheel and repeat the process. I found that scaling the curve caused problems later on even if I applied the scale, so I'm only going to make the curve bigger by moving its endpoints. Click the object data properties of the curve. Double the resolution to 24 to give a nice smooth curve. In the outliner window, click the eye icon to unhide the cube. Select the cube. Click the object properties of the cube. And I'm going to make it domino shaped by changing its X scale to 0.4. Its Z scale to 2. And set the Z location to 2. Drag with the middle mouse button to rotate the view. In a previous tutorial, I applied an array modifier and a curve modifier to the domino to create a set of dominoes following a curve, but the curve modifier deforms the dominoes. To avoid the problem, I'm going to add mesh plane, and I'm going to apply the array modifier and the curve modifier to the plane, and link the domino to the plane with a parent-child relationship. Select the domino. Now, even though it will be the child, these scale values cause problems. So in the object menu, apply scale. Click in the parent box and select the plane. Select the plane. I'm going to select the plane in the outliner window. Click the modifiers button. Click the add modifier button. Add an array modifier. Now with the count set to 2, we have two planes in the array, but only one domino. To get two dominoes, click the Object Properties button, scroll down to the Duplication panel, and click Faces. Now there is one duplicate domino for every face the plane has. A plane has one face, but there are two planes in the array. Click the Modifiers button change fixed count to fit curve, set the curve to the bezier curve. 
Now the number of elements in the array will be set so that the length of the array matches the length of the curve. Click the Add Modifiers button, add a curve modifier, scroll down and set Object to the Bezier curve. We get a set of dominoes that follow the curve that aren't deformed. The original domino is in the middle but we'll deal with that later. To adjust the distance between the dominoes, we adjust the distance between the array elements. Putting too large a value risks the chance that the falling domino will miss the next domino. With the spacing at 1.5, we get 13 elements in the array. I can change fit type back to fixed count and set the count to 13 and I get exactly the same result. I can increase the count and decrease it and I can move the elements of the array along the curve by altering the x value of the plane. Set the x location back to 0, set the count back to 13, although looking at the scene we can fit one more domino in. To delete everything except for the dominoes, in the object menu, apply Make Duplicates Real. Select the Bezier curve, press X to delete it. Select the plane, press X to delete it. Select the original domino, press X. To make the dominoes fall over, we have to apply rigid body physics. Scroll down and open up the Rigid Body Tools panel. Scroll down. The buttons are greyed out until we select a domino. To select all the dominoes, in the Select menu, select All by Type Mesh and click the Add Active button. Add Mesh Plane. Press S to scale, 20 and Enter. Click the Add Passive button. Select the first domino, use the tip of the blue arrow to move it up slightly, press G to grab X and X again for the local X direction and move it slightly closer to the next domino. Press R to rotate, Y and Y again for the local Y axis and tilt the domino forward slightly. Change the view to perspective. Zoom back with the mouse wheel and drag with the middle mouse button to rotate the view. I'm going to end the tutorial there. I'll put the finished file for you to download and look at at my website www.freemovies.co.uk at the Blender channel there. Thanks for watching and goodbye.